a leader, you need to have number one, the right intention. Tapaiko irada ke chata, that's number one. Number two, you need to have the right innovation. Innovation in the sense, how can you think long term? Can you strategize? Can you solve problems? Can you do things that are different? Number three, to be a leader, you need to be able to involve and to be able to include. Everybody that's around you must feel the empathy, must feel like you care, must feel like you're really involving them in the message you want to give. Number four, to be a leader, you must be able to interact. To communicate in a way that other people feel good, you must be able to make people around you feel good. And number five, to be a leader, you must be able to inspire. Tara yo kura maile jun bhakkar bane ko, yo to textbook ko kura ho. This is basic information. I want everybody here right now to close your eyes and to think about your mothers and your grandmothers. Did they not have the best intentions of everybody in their heart? Yes or no? Yes. Number two, did they not know how to innovate? Tarkari kam bhairatsa, but they would put some alu and patek. They would be able to serve more people. Yes or no? They could serve more people. They knew how to make the right strategies. They knew how to solve problems. So they were definitely innovators. Number three, your mother and your grandmother. Did they not know how to interact with people? They knew exactly how to get the right thing from the right person at the right time. Number four, did they not know how to make people feel included? They knew. Bhai like it, chayyo, bhai ni like it, chayyo. Ani thak thiyo tarikale sappai milao noon thiyo. And number five, did your mother and your grandmother not inspire you every day with their resilience? Not just because of the words that they said, but because of the things that they did. Yes or no? Yes or no? So the truth is, that these women from different backgrounds as different as you and different academic achievements were all leaders. Women are natural leaders at home. But here are the statistics about women as leaders in the workplace. Ahile Pani, Matra Ekkais Pratishat Prime Ministers are women. Only 21% of the total Prime Ministers of the world are women. Number two, Forbes ma, top 500 companies ma, Matra 8.8 Pratishat ko CEOs women ho nun sa. And number three, Hamro Afno District Governor ma, aja samma Matra ek jana mahila ho nun sa. What does this mean? Does this mean we don't have the right intention? Does this mean we're not skilled enough? Does this mean we're not good enough? Absolutely not. This really just means two things. There are two problems with women in leadership. Problem number one, society and its perceptions. Problem number two, our own mindsets. Ajamo society, yani samaj, and samaj ko perceptions ko kura gardina. Because that is outward to inward. But today I'm going to talk to you about our own mindsets and how we need to start changing our mindsets constructively to have more women in leadership positions. Is that okay, everyone? Have you got it? Now we are going to play a small interactive game. Teen mindset ko kura gartsu, first mindset ko kura garna gadi, ma sappai janalai kune prasna sodsu. Prasna number one. How many of you, especially the women here, have been told, don't do that, you can't do it? Raise your hands. Don't do that, you can't do it. Women, raise your hands. How many of you have been told, don't go out, it's too late? Raise your hands. Even if you're 35 years old, raise your hands if you've heard that even at the age of 35. I can see all the women laughing here. How many of you have been told this? Go out, but take your brother with you. He will take care of you. Raise your hands. And when I was told this, my brother was three feet shorter than me. I would have had to take care of him. But because he was a male member of the family, he was told to accompany me. Sano dekhi. Esto kura sunday sunday 
what happens to women is when you become older you form a kind of risk aversion which is called leadership ambition gap फेरी रिपीट करसु सानो देखी इस तो कुरा सुंदे सुंदे वी फॉर्म अ काइंड ऑफ रिस्क अवर्जन रिस्क लिना यानी खतरा लिना कुने नया काम ट्राई करना वी गेट स्केड दिस इज कॉल्ड लीडरशिप एंबिशन गैप इसको रिजल्ट्स के उनसा ता कुने नया जॉब को वैकेंसी था आई डोंट मीट 100 परसेंट ऑफ द क्राइटेरिया मो अप्लाई कर दी ना Women before they go for a new job, they won't apply till they match 95% of the criteria. Men will apply for the job even if they match 60%, and then they take six. Huh? Job pay also. This much again, I have also. Sathi bhai banana, I have also also. Facts in the industry. Number two. Women are scared to put in proposals for jobs, for work, for business if they feel they are not going to be amazing and they won't be able to meet every single criteria. Number three. Women feel scared to open up and to even negotiate salaries in a workplace. Number four, in social organizations like yours, even if a woman thinks she is capable of taking up a leadership position, atera risk na liera, they don't take it. Why? Not because they can't do it, because they feel, what if I fail? How will society perceive me? This is called leadership ambition gap. And in corporate world, ma, political world, ma, this is a very, very common problem that is facing women today. What can we do? Practical steps. Step number one, women, ladies, each one of us. Let's start giving ourselves permission. Anumati dinu parsa, aafu lai. There is a voice inside your head telling you, you can't do it, yes or no. Dherai patak kunai kaam garna agadi, haami sunsa ho, oh gharu chha, sak chau ki sak dena, chora pani chha, kati gharu unsa ho la. Whenever that voice tells you in your head, remind yourself, this is not your voice, this is generations of programming that you've heard over and over again. And give yourself permission to say no to that voice. Number two, every time when you want to decide whether to do something or not, start by taking a small risk and then increase the size of that risk and just make it a bit bigger next time, you will be better at taking risks. Number three, don't aim for perfection. Saji lokura, hami perfect hona kotsao. All the ladies, why we hold ourselves to that standard? Don't aim for that. Number four, imagine the worst outcome. What is the worst? I'll be the secretary of the club. I'll do a bad job. Maybe I'll learn. Maybe I'll make mistakes sometimes. How does it matter? I will learn as I go along. So the leadership ambition gap has to be bridged. You have a mindset which has to be bridged by us if we want to progress. Is this okay? Have you understood the first one? Yes? The second mindset I'm going to talk about is something called the tiara syndrome. Tiara yani crown. Crown thatsa sapai jana lai, right? This is a syndrome that really bothers many, many women. And the syndrome is, ma kaam garchu, ma chupo lai ra kaam garchu, and parinam affe aun sa malai kase lai bannu par dena. How many of you have felt like this in the past, ladies especially? Ma kaam garde jansu, I'll keep on and on working. The results will come if they have to. I don't have to speak about myself. In the corporate sector, this happens a lot. Politics ma pani gaira vote li nu parcha ho ki hai na. Hami lai ki lag cha, ma kaam gar chu, gar chu, gar chu. Koi ek jana invisible man che maathi bada au cha, ani tau ko ma isto crown lagai din cha. That's not going to happen. Nobody is watching you. And nobody will give you a crown. Nobody will give a tiara to you. If you don't have the courage to go out there and to talk about what you do and how you contribute. So the second problem that women really face, and this is a mindset problem is, we do not talk about ourselves. Hami humble huna khod saun. Ho ki hai na? Hami ke sood saun? Neki kar fal apne aap milega. Yes or no? My grandmother used to tell me that. This is not the world for that, very unfortunately. We have to speak up. The previous keynote speaker before me said that even Rotary had to speak up and share your stories because people did not know what was happening in Rotary. Just like that, women, when we do something, we have to speak up. But we are scared of speaking up. So, is there a solution? 
have a buddy system or a friend system in your club. Don't praise yourself, but do three things for your friends. Support, speak, and shout. Suppose your friends, support your friends, speak about the good things your friends do, and shout loudly when they do something very well, so you are supporting each other, and you are never showing off and bragging about yourself, but actually you're talking about your friend, and your friend is talking about you, as a result of which both of you are moving upwards. Is that okay? Have you understood how do we deal with this? But this is the only way around this problem. Number three, mindset. Imposter syndrome. Kati janale yu sunnu bhatsa. Imposter syndrome. Isko naam sunnu bhatsa. Ki yo che? It's actually imposter phenomena. Ki yo? This is basically when we feel mo capable chai na, mo saksham chai na tara, kune ram ru good luck bhai ra, I am where I am. I'm actually not good at what I do. I'm just here because I got lucky. I'm just here because something happened and one day so that I don't know anything. That is called imposter syndrome. Truth, 75% of all women who reach high positions face this in their lives every day. Malai ke yaunde na, people will come to know malai yaunde na. Oh my God, garo hun sa. Imposter syndrome. Kati jana lai cha. Raise your hands loudly, proudly. Even I'm going to raise my hands. Euta saanu ghatna bhansu. Euta sarkari sanstaan mama asti ga thhe. Pancha maina agadi ko kura cha. I had gone there to speak and I had gone there for a communication training at a governmental organization in Dhuli Khel a few months ago. And there were professors. There were around 40 to 50 professors that I was training. All the professors came into the hall. In that hall, there were five female professors and the others were all male. Okay? U shape ko is to seating arrangement thiyo. Sappai jana, aira basnu bhaiyo. Tha saat seat agadi ko khali thiyo. The lady professors came in. Agadi ko tha saat seat ma basnu bhaiyo na. Pachhaadi gaira kotha ko end ma basnu bhaiyo. I thought maybe they were not professors. I thought maybe they were not at the same position. I went and I asked them, break ma. Ma'am, tapai haru agadi ko seat khali hude hunda ki na pachhaadi gaira basnu bhaiyo. Hai na, hai na, tiyan ta keta haru. Thik sa ni gai alon sa sir haru. This is when ladies do not give themselves the kind of positions that they expect. They do not go and sit on the tables they should be sitting on. They do not take up the kind of space that they need to take up. Women, the imposter syndrome is real. And what we really truly need to do is remind ourselves of how good we are. How do we do that? How do we do that? Number one, take up space. First seat ma basna garo hunsa kati janalai. Raise your hands. Tekka gadi ko gaira seat ma garo hunsa basna. Dherai janalai hunsa. People sit in the second row, even the first row is empty. Number two, we don't speak enough about what we do. Number three, a lot of us, we don't take up the spaces we are meant to take up. Malai imposter syndrome hunsa. And you know what I did about this? Every time I is to sanstama aira kura gartsu, malai oda trophy di no unsa, token of love di no unsa ni, maya kuchi no, mai le sappai afno study room ma rakhna thale. Because every time I would get these, I would keep them away. But now I've realized every time I feel full of doubt about whether I'm a good speaker, whether I'm a good trainer, I need to keep on looking at those 60, 70, hundreds of tokens of love just to know that I've achieved. I request each one of you, do whatever it takes to keep reminding yourself of your real achievements and your real skills and don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough. Today what I spoke to you about was simple, small, practical things. But ladies, kura is not just important for us. This is also important for the next generation of girls that are looking up to each one of us as mothers and as role models. Ladies, I request each one of you, let's go back and let's implement these small things in our lives. And more than anything else, let's go back to the first definition of leaders that I told you. The five words that I told you about. Intention, innovation, 
inspiration, involvement, and interaction. Each one of these words begins with I, I, me, myself. It begins with us. That means that actually there is something inside us which is far more precious than the diamonds and the jewelry we wear. And that is our spirit. That is our attitude. And right at the end, I just want to tell you, ladies, one small thing. Don't let anybody ever tell you what you can and cannot do. Because you, you are like the water. Nothing can contain you. Your beauty is in your flowing. And you, you are like the fire. Nothing can stop you. Your beauty is in your glowing. Thank you.